Hi students, welcome back. So now come here, let's continue with our Java concepts. In this video, I want to explain what exactly the Java library is, right? So one point you have to remember students, without library functions, without library, no program will execute. No program will execute. Remember student. So, in a C programs, you are used to call it as a hash include stdio.h and here also we are used to call it as a, uh, a Java packages we are used to call. Okay. So, Java library, uh, it is also called as, it is also called as what? Can you guess? Java API. So, instead of use, calling every time Java library is better to use to call API. API means nothing but application program interface application program interface so the name itself is saying that it's acts as an interfacing between the application program and the user okay so the java library the another name you call it as api because it acts as an interface between applications and as well as programs it acts as interface between it acts as interface between application applications and programming line programming language applications and programming language so that's why we used to call java libraries as an application programming interfaces so instead of libraries in java we used to call it as a api remember so in the java we are not calling as a libraries we are used to call it as a apis don't get confused whenever you see in the word api means it's nothing but a library library functions which acts as an interface between application and programming language okay and the latest version of the and all these libraries uh, everything will be present on the jdk tool okay java software jdk so the latest version of jdk is what 18 18 is the latest version jdk 18 okay so java software it's not jdk 18 it's nothing but a java software so in the java software you are having whenever you install the java software java runtime environment is going to be created Okay, in the Java runtime environment, application program interface will be present. That is Java libraries are present. That means application program interface is a part of Java runtime environment and Java runtime environment is a part of JDK. So, you are installing JDK. Whenever you install the JDK, Java runtime environment is created. So, in that environment, one of the... Uh, uh, Follow it's the application programming interface. Java library functions will be present, right? Is it clear? So Java library are organized generally. The Java library or I used to call it as API. The API organized in the form of in the form of packages. So all these uh, whatever the application program interface the functions all are uh, form uh, organized in the form of packages what is a package what is a package package is nothing but it is a collection of it is a collection of sub packages sub packages classes and interfaces so packages is a collection of sub packages classes and interfaces one thing you have to remember that in c we usually call it as a header files right in the c when you are if you want to run the programs if you want the main function uh, print function scan a function if those functions need to be executed you have to call the header files right a hash include stdio.h call suppose if you are working on a mathematical function math.h need to be called so if you are working on string functions you need to call string.h file so that you call it as a header files but in java we used to call it as an packages okay so header files packages both are the same in the header files each uh, function is having their own header files right input output function is having one header file and the string function is having one header file so whenever we are working on that those particular header file will be calling okay but in the in the java we used to call it as a packages 
header files we used to call it as a packages remember that so addition of two numbers if you want library function is there finding of maximum number a library function is there you no need to write anything for all that the library functions will be there so in the previously what we have to do you have to write the in c program you have to write a plus b and a into b like that but in the java you no need to suppose to write addition of two numbers just library function is there whenever you call that library function operation will be performed so now let me explain you a java packages java packages so java packages consisting of, what are the different packages that are present in java java in java java package java ax package java x package oracle package a different types of packages will be present on java so lot of packages so i'm writing here some of the packages java omg package okay uh, org package and lots of hundreds of packets or packages are there hundreds of packages will be present in the api application programming interface there are hundreds of packages will be present clear so suppose if you take a java package in the java package if you take a java package if you open any package java package you if you want if you can open any one of the package i try to open the java package i want to call the java package if you want to open any package here in sub package was will be present like language sub package language sub package until sub package okay net sub package and i was sub packages i was sub package suppose you you are just calling the language sub package you want to open the language sub package in the language sub package again it will having the sub packages and it having the classes and interfaces interfaces okay in the sub package also you are having classes interfaces so this will be the hierarchy like this so in java api there are so many of packages will be present if you call any one of the package again these packages are divided into language sub packages until net i was sub packages if you call the language if you open the language sub package again sub packages classes interface will be present okay so sub packages are not include uh, classes and interface if you take the classes and interfaces contains these classes and interfaces contains what classes and interfaces contains variables variables and methods classes and interface contains variables and method okay so i want to clarify one point here students let's concentrate on this thing first point suppose import import means you are just importing the uh, that package import java dot lang like i'm calling the language sub sub package java in the java i'm just calling dot lang dot star what it means it imports all classes it imports all classes and interfaces of of which package java dot lang dot package into our java program into our java program okay so whenever we used to call java java is a package lang dot star lang language so whenever it dot star is there it it imports all the classes and interfaces so whenever dot star is there it imports all classes and interfaces into our java program next point suppose i used to call it uh, i want to import the packages like import java dot language dot system capital letter s system then what it does so it imports what it imports it imports 
only system classes only system class of java dot language dot package into our java program into our java program so this is how you are going to import so while you are using the normal classes and interface you are no need to suppose to call uh, java dot language dot package because it is by default package let me write the note java dot language dot package is a default package remember it's a default package and it is implicitly and it is implicitly implied in every java program no need to declare it no need to uh, import every time it is implicitly implied in every java program when you are trying to run the programs it is by default the, it will be implicited okay so every time you are not supposed to write import java dot language dot star no need to write this no need to write uh, write this every time no need to write because it is implicitly import or by default implicitly import in the program. Okay. Thank you.